All right, let's set up a scenario. We're building an import command where we want to pass in a CSV and we want to import all of the people in that file as employees to our application. But when we're importing them, we want to import them into a specific department, which we'll specify by name. So let's look at this command that demonstrates. This is just sample code uh, to, to make a point here. So we can see we're taking an argument for the department we're taking an argument for the file name. And the very first thing we do is we try to fetch that department. And if it doesn't exist, we just throw an exception. So that's what first or fail does. If it finds a record, great. It returns the first one and we continue on. If it doesn't find any matching records, it throws an exception and our command would fail because of course we can't import them into that department if that department doesn't exist. So that's the scenario. But think about this. So we've protected for the case where we have zero matching departments. But what about if there's more than one? If there's two departments with the same name, is it good enough to just pick, I don't want to say randomly, but just pick what happens to be the first one? I would say that's probably an issue. Now, if you're like me and you're, you, you like uh, um, thinking along with these videos, you might be thinking, well, then if, if they're supposed to be unique, you should have a, a unique constraint on the database. Um, all of the ways to create departments in your system should have unique validation on them. You're correct. But let's just assume this is like a legacy system we're modernizing. We don't have those guarantees in place, but we still need to build this command. So the question remains, now that I've taken that, that tangent away from us, what if there's more than one? I say that's a problem. So we would want to throw an exception, not just when there's zero, but also when there's more than one. Now we could modify this to fetch the records, then count them, then throw an exception if there's more than one, but we don't need to do that. Laravel gives us a method to do that. So if I just change first or fail to sole, this is something that comes with Eloquent. This will do exactly what we want. It will still throw an exception if there's zero, but now it will also throw an exception if there's more than one. And of course, if there's just one, we get that model back and we can continue on with our command. So how does this work? Well, first, this, first, let's just look at first or fail. And we can see that really this is just delegating to the first method. And notice what it's doing. It's not, th this is important to recognize too, this is an optimization. It's not actually fetching all of the records from the database and then just giving us the first one baked into the query we have this take one. So it's an optimization. It's only returning one row from the database. So that's good. Now, if we scroll down to soul, notice what it's doing. It's taking two because again, if there's, whether there's two, 10 or a hundred, we're going to throw the same exception. So why fetch more records than we need to from the database? It's being smart and it's just fetching two. And then it does that logic. I was kind of like brainstorming. It's like, it takes the count. If the count is zero, it throws an exception. If the count is greater than one, it throws an exception. And then of course, the only path remaining is exactly one record was found, and then it returns that to us. So this is a nice um, way of leveraging the Laravel framework. It reads cleanly. It's kind of obvious what it does, just scanning uh, this query. So the takeaway, I guess, is to think about if you have places in your application where you're using the first or fail method, you're already hinting that it, you care about how many records you get back, but you're only enforcing that you get back at least one. I would say any place in your application that you're using first or fail, just take a look at it and decide would Sol actually be a more fitting method to use.